Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to fit a universal cafe racer tank on a motorcycle, on a cafe racer project. So you guys really seem to like the new type of video, so I will uh, show you in detail how I managed to install this tank on the CB354 project. Also to show you uh, how it's done and how I did it on other bike. And uh, then I'm going to show you just a few other updates uh, about the workshop or the bike. So stay tuned and uh, let's get into it. So here we have uh, our CB354. And uh, since you guys know, this was a bike that I rebuilt entirely from scratch. I didn't have a bike before, so I didn't have a gas tank before. And it's so difficult to source uh, an original gas tank for this bike. Uh, and in good condition, it's even more difficult. So I went ahead and bought a couple universal fit gas tank from Casferas a workshop. And today uh, we're going to see which one fit the best, and uh, we're going to install it uh, on the bike. So let's get to it. So here are the two tanks I bought. So the first one is this kind of tank. And the other one is this one. Like uh, It's a CG125 style universal fit gas tank. So we'll see which one fit the best. So when you try fitting the gas tank, make sure that everything is installed, especially the coils. Uh, because the gas tank might fit without anything but once you put the coils uh, they might get in the way which is the case here so gas tank fit perfectly without the coil so I will show you how, how it looks uh, but when I install the coil they are on the way so two options here uh, I can either move the coils somewhere else but making sure that the mount are grounded to the frame because it is important for the coils to be grounded to the frame um, so I can relocate it maybe somewhere over here or over here um, otherwise I can always uh, go with a different option of gas tank that has more clearance for the coils So it is a good idea to put uh, something to get the correct height for the lines that you are looking for. Basically you are looking to get a, a straight line from the seat following the gas tank. So you can put some stuff just in between to get the correct position of the tank. And then stop a picture with your smartphone uh, so you can get a, a look afterwards. So how it looks and if you like it and especially if you need to compare two kind of tanks. It's very useful to just snap a picture and compare both. So this one seems pretty nice. We'll see the other one. Okay, so there's something I really like already about this tank is that it almost fit on the original mounting tabs of the original tanks. So this is a real plus because that's me. I would just by bending slightly some little bits or chopping off just a little bit of the tank like this one or this one 
um, I can make it fit just like the original one. It's the same size, same diameter, uh, and I'm pretty sure that I can just stick this one on. Yeah, actually, this one fits the original mounting tabs, so like it is now in correct position, and uh, it's in the original mounting tabs on the front. The lines looks perfect, so it is a straight line here. I just need to adjust the mounting tab on the back, and this one is like a perfect fit for this bike. All I need to do then is to relocate the coils. Um, it's also a good idea to make sure, so I will unstrap the bike on the front, to make sure that the triple clump can move freely if you are doing a full turn, but I can see already that there is plenty of clearance here, so it shouldn't be an issue. So this will be actually <laughs> a lot easier to mount than the previous tank I mounted, but I will still show you uh, how you can mount uh, a tank if you cannot reuse the original mount on the front because the most difficult part is the mount on the on the front on the back usually it's quite easy you can just either weld the tab or just make some kind of fabrication to make it make it fit but it's less difficult less of a problem uh, i will throw in the grommet on the front and just try to fill it again with the grommets so here we have brand new uh, factory grommet mounting tabs for the original gas tank but we can see that they are a little bit too big uh, for this one so both in diameter and in depth but I can easily just chop those one down so uh, chop a little bit this way and uh, reduce them in, in diameter and uh, we should be good to just put them on here and then slide the tank on it and we will just have to work on the mounting tab for the back and relocate the coils so we will check for the moment how we can relocate the coils and see if we, if we find a, a good place for them Okay, so I found an easy way to relocate the coils, which is just to reuse the mount uh, that is originally made for the uh, key switch. So I will just mount the key switch somewhere else, which is a lot easier to relocate because there's just those wires that I can make longer and basically put the key anywhere I want on the bike. Maybe something around there, which is quite popular on the CB. Uh, and so I can just reuse the mounting tab for those, for the coils. Uh, I just need maybe to build a small bracket for the rear of the coil, which could should be not too difficult to build. And just to make sure, and a good point is that since it is on the frame, it is already grounded on the frame. And just uh, if I want to make sure that 100% of this is grounded, I can still make uh, a tiny wire going from uh, one end of the coils uh, to somewhere on the frame like here or here so should be nice and uh, we'll see now if the tanks clear the coils easily yeah so the tank clears the coil properly it even looked like it was made to be like that, so perfect, so I'm kind of lucky on this one. I just have to build a small, very small mounting tab for the rear of the coils and it's okay. And uh, I can now just focus on making the tank fit on the back, but uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem because we have a mounting bracket here. And I think that I can just clear those tabs here and drill a hole in the frame and just put uh, a kind of big screw with a nut on the bottom and uh, we should be good to go. I will just make sure that the fuel petcock clears the tank properly. I have the petcock right here so I'm just going to install it and make sure that 
it clears the carburetor and the frame properly so it is also an important point to make sure it would be a shame to just mount everything to realize that it doesn't fit oh yeah it's perfect it barely fits but it feels just okay to clear those bolts and the fuel line. Okay, so I have trimmed down the grommet and uh, they should not fit perfectly. It's just perfect. It fits just perfectly. Just have to make a mount on the back now and uh, we should be good. Okay, so I was quite lucky on the, this one because the tank I found uh, is just fit perfectly and I can reuse the stock mounting mount, which is really nice. Uh, a good thing to know when you are looking for tanks is that uh, on most, wave, on most uh, shops like about those one I got from Cafe Rest Away Shop, you have all the dimensions, like all the picture and the dimensions of uh, all the space on the front, at the back, in the middle. So you can make sure before ordering, the, you can make sure that it will fit your bike. Uh, but in some case, you will have more space on the tank than the frame itself, which was the case when I built the uh, YBR 125cc uh, cafe racer project. For instance, you can see right here that the gap is way larger than the frame for this bike. So if I wanted to install this tank here, I will need to put something very large in between the tank mounting bracket and the frame. So in that case, you have two solutions. So what most will do, like pro shops, is just to locate the area and weld some tabs directly onto the frame um, just to fit some grommets and then fit the tank. This is the best way to do it, but you need to be a, a good welder because frame like this, they are not super thick and if you don't have a good welder, uh, you have a risk to damage the frame either by welding straight through it. Um, another solution and this is what I did on the YBR 125 is just to use like a, a threaded rod like this one pierce a hole going through the frame just like those one for example those are the stuck uh, coils mounting holes and then you can just put the threaded rod in between cut it at the correct size and uh, at the end of each threaded rod you can just uh, feed the grommets or you can either just buy some grommets uh, 3D print some grommets. This is what I did on the YBR 125. Just uh, I just 3D printed some grommets that I fitted on here, and then we have uh, the mounting tabs on the front. And then you just need to deal with the back, like we are going to see uh, here. But uh, for the back, it will always depend on the model of tank that you have chosen, uh, on the shape of the frame. For example, on the 125 YBR, I was able to just reuse the stock mounting point and then just build a, a custom wrap kit that I 3D designed and 3D printed. Um, in, other, in other case, you can just weld the tab that this is what I did on the uh, XT600. So I will throw a, a clip now just to show you guys. But you can just weld the tab and then uh, bolt the tank right into it. Okay, so let's check if the triple clamp and the handlebars doesn't go into the tank and uh, if it's okay, we can finalize the loading. Oh yeah, it's perfect. It doesn't get in the way at all. Yeah, and I really like those kind of bars too. Never tried them before, but uh, they feel nice and low, but uh, still better than uh, like clip-ons because you have a much better riding position. And uh, can't wait to try this one on the road. 
For the back here, I'm just going to measure the diameter here and the space between the mount and the frame and I'm just going to 3D design and print the correct spacer and so I can just put a bolt right through it. Okay, so I have 3D printed those spacer. Um, ideally, uh, the best would be to machine them in a lat, but uh, I don't have such equipment. Uh, and they, they are not a big strain of on those as well because they are just spacer with a ball going through. So it's not really a problem uh, that it is made of uh, 3D printed parts. And I can just fit it on the tank here. So let me remove this one. There we go. This is the final design. So as you can see, it's a real snug fit there. I can just put the tank back on. And now that the tank is in the correct position, I can just mark a hole with a small drill bit. And there we go, our tank is secure, it won't move a bit, as you can see, it's moving the whole bike with it, and uh, we have a very clean look on the back, so we can now just build the seat around that, and we will be good to go. Take a look guys, it is looking nice and awesome. It almost looked like this was the original tank of the bike. So there you go. I hope this was helpful to some of you guys. Uh, if you are looking to install some uh, universal fit tanks on some bike, it is not that difficult. Uh, of course, it will all depends on uh, the type of bike, but if uh, you spend enough time looking at the right dimension, choosing the right tank, you will most likely always find a tank uh, that will uh, match your bike. So thanks again to our sponsor Cafe Racer Webshop, which I got this tank from. They have a very wide uh, variety of tanks, so make sure to check them out. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that this one uh, really looked like it was made for this bike. And I know that this one in particular, so I, this is the CG125 tank, it, fit, it will fit almost all of uh, classic Hondas, like whether it's in a, an XL bike, an XR, a CB, you're pretty sure that you will be able to make this one fit on any Honda. So you guys really like the first one I did, so I'll try to upload uh, uh, every now and then a few update videos like that before I can show you guys the whole build process of uh, this beauty.